Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, Weather in 5, 5 days and 5 minutes. Happy New Year's Eve and Weather in 5, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, just north of the Southern State Parkway, 631-756-1125. And as we now proceed into January and we uh, look ahead to what looks like an active pattern, although uh, it'll also depend on how much cold air is around, uh, we probably will have to deal with some winter weather at some point. Omni True Value has everything you need. Uh, if you're dealing with freezing rain this weekend in some places, ice scrapers will come in handy, shovels, snow blowers, even generators for those times that those winter storms wind up uh, causing uh, bigger problems. And Petalo, uh, one of the uh, best uh, products when it comes to uh, snow melt and the calcium chloride pellets and of course tons of rocks rock salt so omnitruevalue.com is the website let's uh, take a look at what's happening we're socked in with a lot of clouds and uh, those clouds are because of a cold front that is moving on through and we've had some rain with that front and in, in many areas that rain now is starting to dissipate but if you look to the southwest, this obvious curl down in Texas is a strong shortwave trough that is getting ready to move to the north-northeast and bring the next weather system here. But that's not going to come until probably on uh, – uh, this is not going to get here until late in the day on Friday into Friday night and early Saturday. Had a senior moment there for a second because there's another storm system behind this that we're going to have to deal with for uh, Sunday into Sunday night. So uh, as far as the, the radar is concerned at midday, uh, the rain continues to diminish. Uh, the heaviest rain has moved on out to the east. There's still a few leftover echoes here and there, but whatever is still on the radar is very light if it's even reaching the ground anymore. And of course, you head down into Texas. This is snow in southwest Texas. And uh, thunderstorms uh, in uh, East Texas, and you can see that rain area expanding northeastward up into Arkansas and over into western Tennessee. Winter storm warnings are up for a good chunk of southwest Texas. You don't see this very often. Also for central Oklahoma and on up into Missouri. Some of this is going to be for heavy snow, but as you move up into the middle Mississippi Valley, we're talking ice here in many of these areas. And winter storm watches up in parts of northern Illinois. We've got advisories extending out into Ohio. So this is going to be an important weather maker as it moves to the northeast. And ahead of that also, we have winter storm watches up for central Pennsylvania and this is because uh, the uh, potential for freezing rain here in terms of a quarter of an inch of ice accretion or more that is where the uh, biggest risk is uh, for uh, an event like that now here's the weather service forecast and as far as ice is, accretion is concerned I like to use roadways as uh, markers so in Pennsylvania I'm thinking North of Route 76 is where you're probably going to have some issues. In New Jersey, I'm going to take the line down to about Route 78 and keep it west of 287. In the Hudson Valley, it's a little trickier in the Hudson Valley here because sometimes you get that warm air to go up the Hudson and it stays cold on the west side and it's colder on the east side where the cold air tends to wedge in. Uh, here, we're, I'm thinking covering for the idea north of 287 that there could be a light icing issue tomorrow evening into the first part of tomorrow night but you'll have to go further north and west to get into the more serious icing and you can see the tenth to a quarter of an inch uh, of icing that is being generated here and on up through upstate new york and into the interior new england connecticut it's mainly going to be north of route 84 there might be a little bit of scattered patchy icing as you head south of 84 to route 15 but that would be uh, the extent of it uh, as far as the uh, icing is concerned. So uh, our uh, weather for the rest of today is just going to be on the order of slow improvement here as we uh, take this cold front and push it further south. And now we've got a cold high out to the west where temperatures are right now mostly in the 20s in the uh, late morning hours. That'll be building in for tonight and for tomorrow. We'll be down in the 20s to low 30s by morning. The freezing line will probably get down into southern New Jersey and into southern Pennsylvania. And, of course, it will get even further south as you go west into Pennsylvania 
and on up into upstate New York, where we are definitely going to see temperatures down in the low to mid 20s. There's cold air only at the bottom part of the atmosphere. The upper levels of the atmosphere are fairly warm. Next seven days, this is for our weather system for Friday and one for late Sunday into Sunday night. So you can see the weather prediction folks talking about maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter of liquid total between the two. Um, maybe you just want to split them in half, uh, three quarters, up to three quarters of an inch of liquid with the first one, and maybe up to three quarters of an inch of liquid in the second one. Their forecast for icing, this is for at least a tenth of an inch of ice. They've kind of nudged up the 50% line to right along the Pennsylvania-New Jersey border. And on the latest forecast, they've taken it out of northwest New Jersey. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. It's going to really depend on, on the high and, and how cold the temperatures get tonight into tomorrow morning. But you can see where the max area is. And back in central PA, where we have the winter storm watch, and we're talking... Uh, up to uh, as much as a 70% probability in some places of at least a quarter of an inch of ice of ice accretion. And that that is um, definitely significant. Now, the other system that we're talking about, which is for Sunday, this is the latest weather prediction center's forecast for snow. And they've kind of pushed the one, the chance for at least an inch down a little bit further to the south. It's only a 10 to 30% chance but they do have it into northern New Jersey and into southern Connecticut down to about Route 15. This was put out before the dayside models came out, and they've come in a little bit colder. I think the Sunday situation is one of those things where <clears throat> we could wind up being a degree colder, and that could make the difference for somebody in terms of either just rain or perhaps uh, some uh, wet snow. So we're going to focus our attention more on that tomorrow when we have when we're a little closer and we can see how uh, <clears throat> how cold we will or won't be because we're literally going to be borderline there's not a whole lot of cold air around to work with so we'll clear out tonight uh, we have the high going up into northern vermont tomorrow you see the low there on the oklahoma arkansas border uh, the rain is uh, still pretty far away tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon rain comes into southern new jersey you get that freezing rain to central Pennsylvania, and then as the atmosphere cools, uh, we're going to see freezing rain in northeastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, uh, into the Hudson Valley, west of the Hudson. And there will be some snow that develops out ahead of it in uh, upstate New York and northern Connecticut, but it all goes to rain and then it ends. So by Saturday morning, the last of this should, should be pulling away to the northeast. For southern Pennsylvania down into Virginia, it's rain with some heavier downpours. It's over with before Saturday morning daybreak. Saturday, we'll spend the day improving. Now, here's the next one. As a cold front stalls to the south, the bottom part of the system, the cold front stalls in the southeast. The next low comes up. And here's where it gets very close and very dicey for <clears throat> Sunday. Uh, this is our map for Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock, and some uh, snow on the GFS and on some of the other models into northern New Jersey and the Hudson Valley, just south and west and south and east of there, it's rain. And then we see an area, an expanding area of snow in northern New Jersey, northeastern Pennsylvania, and even into uh, central uh, Connecticut. And when you look at the temperatures aloft here, the freezing line aloft is literally running right along the immediate coast. It's just, it, on some models, it's actually running just south of Long Island. So this could be one of those situations where uh, a one degree change uh, could make all the difference in the world. So again, just want to wait on this uh, before uh, you know rendering some kind of verdict. Uh, with regards to either rain or snow, and whoever gets snow, how much are we talking about here? Uh, the system does move along, so it is rather fast. It comes in Sunday afternoon. It's gone uh, by uh, midnight or shortly after that as it moves off the southern southeastern New England. And notice the model kind of stalls it out there briefly southeast of Cape Cod, so southeastern New England could get into some wet snow if this is correct in terms of the temperature profiles. So clearly, they left me on New Year's Eve with a lot of weather work to do. So that's what I will be doing this afternoon and, and, and tonight, trying to figure all this out and over the next couple of days as well. Didn't have a Joe and Joe weather show yesterday. Uh, had a last-minute uh, issue that I had to take care of. But there will be a Joe and Joe weather show 
uh, tonight at 7.30 Eastern time. And that will be followed by a weather Zoom uh, tonight at 9 o'clock. I know it's New Year's Eve and many of you may have plans. Uh, I'll keep it short. Uh, but if that's for Patreon members, uh, we'll do a, we'll try a weather Zoom tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern time. So to everyone, Happy New Year. Uh, I appreciate those of you who are on um, uh, my uh, weather platform on Patreon. I truly appreciate your support. And once the European model is done today, uh, I will do a weather in 10 later this afternoon so we can see what that uh, model is doing. And also the long range, which at least from the standpoint of what the GFS shows today was, well, kind of interesting. We'll see. Have a great uh, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to all.